our um, setup for the brake servo vacuum supply uh, for the BMW. Uh, what we have here is a 12 volt uh, DC um, vacuum pump. Um, I got this from the American eBay. It seemed to be quite um, popular there. It seemed very hard to find uh, in this part of the world. This is a Thomas uh, pump. And uh, if I can get this camera to behave itself, which it doesn't seem to want to do. Come on, camera. Let's try this again. Thomas pump. See there, it takes about uh, 7 amps, uh, 12 volts DC. And it will develop up to, I think, about 25 inches of mercury. Um, vacuum. Now to control the pump then because we don't want this on on a continuous basis because it will just drain our accessory battery. Um, we have a vacuum switch here. Uh, this particular switch came out of an industrial water heater and um, is capable of being well it's capable of uh, switching either on pressure or or indeed vacuum and it's got a it's got a hysteresis setting here too so we can set the kind of um, how should I say this the gap between the point at which it turns the pump off and turns the pump on again so the sake of uh, a sample here we could have the pump turn off when it gets to 20 inches and turn back on when it gets to say 12 or 15 or something so that just that'll have to be set up uh, when this thing is installed into the car it'll be just a question of uh, field testing the brakes to see how they feel etc we can kind of set up the pressures or well I should say vacuum here on this guy and it's a it's a kind of a handy setup as well because this switch uh, can control the pump directly it doesn't have to to go through a relay or um, anything else it's got a very powerful set of con tacts in there um, okay so <coughs> the, the, the uh, pump and the switch are set up on this um, aluminium plate and uh, the pump um, exhausts air here through this through this uh, th this guy here and it uh, it um, intakes air here to create vacuum and um, so we can see here we have a T piece here just on uh, the, uh, quarter inch BSP fittings here. Piece of hose um, brings us down to the vacuums hitch here uh, so that the switch can uh, so that the bellows in there, the little bellows in there, I don't know if you can see that properly. But the uh, bellows can then um, sample the vacuum here that the pump is div developing. And um, our main outlet hose then comes down to this point um, where we have a brass block here. And we have a, um, a vacuum gauge here that kind of gives us an, an idea of the uh, vacuum that we have and um, we've got another um, outlet hose barb here that will be going to the car's uh, vacuum servo and as well as that uh, we have this guy here which is essentially a aluminium uh, sports drink bottle and uh, the purpose of this guy is to provide a, uh, a kind of a source of vacuum 
in the event that the pump uh, fails it will give about uh, depending probably about two to three um, applications of the brake with servo assistance and um, this is a good cheap option as it's quite light and um, it seems to be able to stand up to vacuum so uh, that's you know a fairly simple system um, there isn't a hell of a lot else to tell uh, so what I'll do is I'll try and do a quick demo here uh, the pump and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of plastic and I'll just use that just use this here and I'll just press my thumb over this and uh, we should see the vacuum gauge uh, give us an indication and the pump should turn off so I've, I've just got a just a 12 volt um, gel battery here just to do a test on it so I'm, I'm going to turn on the pump and uh, then I'm going to cover up the uh, vacuum port here and we should um, we should see the pump kick off and then kick back on again as vacuum uh, falls off so here we go See there now too well. Hope and see the gauge um, dropping back, and the pump kicks on and off in response. So that's our that's our. Uh, that's our simple system here um, so hopefully in a few days time I'm going to go ahead and figure out the brackets and all that kind of thing and get this get this uh, baby installed into the car um, and that will give us uh, vacuum brakes so that's about it